to show you what we bought at Kohl's yesterday. She's been dying to show you. Yeah, because I can fit into regular jeans now. So we're going to start over here. These are one pair of pants that I bought Kevin. They are Urban Pipelines. And he got another pair on that he's currently already wearing. Turn around. Let's see. You're behind. Pull your shirt up. Boop, boop. So now he doesn't have to wear holy pants all the time. So he got two pairs of pants. And I got a black and white cami with the built-in bras. Because all my camis are getting too big on me. Mm-hmm. So I got a black and white cami. And I got these wildflower jeans. And they were $40, but you buy one, you get one for a dollar. So I got one pair of wildflower jeans. And I got a second pair of wildflower jeans. Actually, it's wallflower. Wallflower uh -huh. jeans. And they were $20 each, basically. $20.50, because it was buy one for 40 get one for a dollar. And then I got these two beautiful shirts. Cool. And I had the $100 gift card that my mother-in-law had given me for my birthday back in March that I've been holding on to because I was waiting till I lost all my weight. And the four pairs of jeans, the two t camis, and the two shirts came to $127. Wow. So all of it only cost me $27. Yay. Yep, yep. yep. So yay. I'm excited about that. So, as you guys all know, I've been coloring a lot of bookmarkers and what they have as gift tags, but I'm going to use them as magnets for the refrigerator and some postcards. I've given some of them away already to some of our subscribers, but a lot to my family members here. This is what I have left as of right now. These are five postcards that I have all colored and ready to give away as prizes and gifts. And I have six bookmarkers ready to give away as private prizes and gifts. And I have all these little magnets to give away as prizes and gifts. And they already are magnetized and laminated. So those are really Romeo. Is that your two cents? Is that your two cents, Romeo? Hello. Hi. So that's what I have so far. I still have lots of pictures I'm going to be coloring for prizes and gifts. And um, I still have more magnets to color. But I'm out of bookmarkers, so I have to get more bookmarkers. I have lots of postcards yet, though. So... Stay tuned. We're going to be announcing a How Well Do You Know Your Neighbors game with, I don't know how many questions yet. We still have to discuss that. And there'll be prizes for you guys that win. Well, here's <laughs> Valerie in her natural habitat. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Coloring. Coloring. Uh oh. Did you put a glare thing there because your teeth are shining? I know. <laughs> I'm coloring. Mm -hmm. I have to color so that I can have prizes for, for our subscribers for our game that we're having coming up. What game are we having coming up? How well do you know your neighbors? Yeah. I, mean, I don't know our neighbors at all. Hmm. Well, 
it's not how well do we know our neighbors, it's how well do they know their neighbors. Their neighbors or us neighbors? Us neighbors. Right. So you better make that clear. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, to get, come on. They know what I'm talking about. Why do I feel like you're like right on top of me? Draw that little... Back up! <laughs> All right, I'll back up and just... No, uh, don't zoom, zoom in! in. <laughs> Pa's got a story, everybody. Another one of these little stories that I always tell. Uh, a while back there, when Crystal was a little girl, about six or seven, she wanted to go hunting with me down in the back of the property that we own. And while back there, it was a lot of snow, about knee-high deep. And it was a big hill. I go down there and we're hunting and walking all over the place. And she wanted to come home and she's tired and couldn't walk anymore. So needless to say, after I had all my heart attacks and problems and everything, I threw her up on my back and trudged through knee-high deep snow up a hill <laughs> and carrying my gun and her and everything. And we finally did make it back home though, but it was a while. <laughs> So you made it back without another heart attack? That was after it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't have another one. <laughs> so what are you doing now, hon? Mapping the floor. I'm up there every night before I go night-night. What the heck do you want? You're supposed to be like whistle while you work or something. I can't do that. Whistle while you work. <laughs> Don't be answered. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm mopping the floor. Why? I do it every night. You do it uh, not in the night, oh, well. Fred. Don't go in there now. She's mopping the floor. I can't go in there now. Of course not. Where do you, where do you want to go? Where are you going? Nowhere. If you have to go to the bathroom, go that way. I changed the wee wee pads are all picked up. I was on my nowhere trip. Well, then <laughs> you're going to get some junk food again. You're just like what have you been doing all day today, dear? Let me zoom in really close on you. What have you been doing today, dear? Nothing. Watching TV. Am I zoomed in close enough to you? Apparently. Let me zoom in really close to you. <laughs> You'll count the hairs on my face. <laughs> People actually watch this. <laughs> Want to do the phone? The phone? Oh, not on that side. <laughs> oh, okay, wait. Let's do the phone on this side. Uh, phone. 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 Child here. Okay. Three okay, everybody, we hope you enjoyed hanging out with us tonight. If you did, give us a great big <laughs> thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. And don't forget that little button, too. If you have not done so already, press that little red subscribe button down below and help your neighborhood community to grow. And share this video with everybody you know. And we will see all of you tomorrow.